Hi everyone. I've been getting a couple questions about our organizer project, how to make a lid. Great question. I'm just going to do a quick demo. If you're trying to make a box, trying to make a lid that's going to fit together, I'm going to show you how to do it real quick, super easy. Um, first, just because I prefer to work in inches, I'm going to change my grid here to be inches instead of millimeters, but the concept's the same whether you're working in inches or millimeters. I'm going to grab my box and I'm just going to make it realistically larger. Let's say, for example, uh, four inches by four inches by four inches. And I can change these dimensions easily just by clicking on the white corners and then clicking on the number and you can type something in. Now, I'm gonna grab a clear box, a hole, and I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. So let's go 3.5 inches by 3.5 inches. Um, I'm gonna actually make it the same height though by four inches, okay? And using my align tool, so what I just did was I dragged the box to select both shapes. You can also press Control A on your keyboard. And I'm gonna press my align tool and I'm gonna hit these center alignments. Uh, so center that way, center that way. Okay, so now they're overlapping. However, I am cutting through the bottom of my box, which I don't wanna do. So clicking on just the center shape, I can grab this black cone arrow and lift it up by about a half an inch. So I can lift it up by a half an inch. And if I select both shapes again, I can hit group and I have a box. Nice and easy, no problem at all. But what if I want a lid? Well, let's grab a second box here and I'm gonna make it the same size as my box, but I'm not gonna make it nearly as tall. I'm only gonna make it a half an inch uh, tall here, right? So here's my lid, but I want it to fit inside of my box. So I'm actually going to ungroup this just so I can see what the size of this inside cutout is. I'm gonna grab a second box and I'm gonna make it the same size as the inside cutout. So that's three and a half by three and a half if I click on my corner here. So I'm gonna click on this second box. I'm gonna make it 3.5, oops, 3.5 by 3.5 by say, uh, I'm actually gonna leave it as one, that's fine. Now, then what I can do is I can select these two boxes on the side here just by dragging my mouse and selecting them. And using the align tool, I can center them like that. And this would in theory fit perfectly. So I'm gonna regroup this so I'm back to having a box. But when you 3D print something, things actually kind of shrink down a little bit. So sometimes you should make uh, what's called a tolerance, a little bit of wiggle room. So instead of making this cutout perfectly three and a half by three and a half, I'm gonna make it 3.4 by 3.4 instead. And I'm gonna just use my align tool to recenter those two pieces. And then I'm gonna group those pieces together. So now this would fit inside of that beautifully. I'm actually gonna rotate it around and let's see if I can find some shape to use as a handle. I'm thinking, let's grab a cylinder here and let's grab a sphere I'm gonna make the sphere a little bit bigger let's lift this up here a little bit maybe flatten my sphere a little bit let's center these guys again using that align tool I'm gonna to group that together lift it up and then let's select that with my lid center center maybe move it down a bit something like that. Group all my shapes, and here's my box. If I wanted to, I could actually lift this up and using the align tool, just center these, right? And I could even lower this in and close my box. There we go, how to make a box with a lid.